Hi, I'm Chef Alex Han. For this recipe, we're gonna be using Atlantic salmon. We're gonna cook it two different ways, sous vide and then followed by grilling it. For this recipe, if you don't have a sous vide machine, please go to seafoodfromcanada.com for a, an alternative recipe. We're gonna start off with our salmon, a vacuum pack bag. If you don't have a vacuum pack bag, that's fine. A Ziploc bag works great. We have our salmon. We're gonna season just with a little salt. We're gonna add in some lemon wedges or lemon slices, whatever you'd like. Then we're gonna add some thyme. When it comes to herbs and salmon, lots of herbs work. For this one, because we're grilling it, we want a heartier herb. Dill probably wouldn't work so much, or say parsley or chives. Once we have our vacuum pack bag ready, we can either seal it, or if you don't have a vacuum pack, you can do the easy method of just clipping it. Make sure the salmon is submerged. Like so. Just keep an eye on it. If it floats up, just come back to it, press it down, make sure there's no air in the bag. Next up, we're gonna get everything ready for our grill. We're gonna have our potatoes, some corn, peppers. If you'd like to use something else, by all means, some mushrooms, some zucchini, all work great. The peppers, we're just gonna do a quick little triangle cut. We have them already seeded and washed. I'm gonna add in some corn and some potatoes. Now, we're gonna grab our olive oil. A liberal amount. Salt. Pepper. and we'll set that off to the side. Next, we're gonna work on our sauce. So we're gonna make a maple whiskey chili sauce, Canadian whiskey, Canadian maple syrup. We're gonna start with our maple syrup. Our whiskey. Some parsley. and some red chilies. If you don't have fresh, by all means, dry works great. Or if you're not a fan of the spice, you can leave them out. This is just gonna be a glaze at the very end for our salmon, just to really intensify some pl flavor. So now that we have our meal prepared, our salmon's in the circulator for 30 minutes at 50 degrees centigrade. But we've already prepared some of the salmon. With the salmon already sous vide, this is really gonna focus on the salmon itself by locking in the flavors when you're circulating it. From here, we're gonna brush it with a little oil and I'll meet you at the grill. So we've got our egg up to right around 800 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna slowly open it so we don't get backdraft at us. So salmon's on, we're gonna close it. It's not gonna take long. We're just looking for some basic caramelization and get the nice grill mark on the uh, serving side. So we're gonna go with our crisscross, little diamond uh, action. So we're just gonna go turn the protein at uh, to 45s. All right, so we've got the crisscross that we went 45 degrees. We're gonna pull our fish off. Now we're gonna to toss on our vegetables. And we had the potatoes already pre-blanched, so we're just getting some color, some heat. We're gonna leave this for about one to two minutes. While we have the salmon already grilled and ready, we're just gonna take it inside and just let it rest. So we're back from the grill. To recap, the salmon went on for about 30 seconds. It was really quick. We're just looking for our colors. 
We crisscrossed on 45s to get our beautiful diamond print. And then with our vegetables, we have the nice caramelization going on, but we want to tie in some of the flavor profile from the salmon into our veg. So we're going to use a little bit of lemon. Just going to crush that on. It's also going to bring out some flavor. And then we're going to just incorporate some of the thyme as well that we sous vide into the salmon. So we're going to go to our plate. Start with some potatoes. Some of our peppers. Piece of our corn. And some of our salmon. Then we're going to go for our glaze. Just a little bit onto the salmon, not to overpower because remember there is some red chili in there, but you just want to kind of accent that maple flavor and the grill and of course a little bit of whiskey. So we're just about done. Of course we want to garnish our dish. If you have any fresh herbs, flowers, anything at home. So a little bit of parsley in there. I mentioned earlier not to use parsley, that was more or less about the grilling point. Some garlic flowers. And there we go. This is our sous vide and grilled Atlantic salmon. The nice thing about this dish, we're really focusing on the salmon flavor and not letting the grill do too much of the work, but also by doing so, say it's minus 30 in the middle of February and you only want to be outside on the grill for 30 seconds, it's a perfect recipe. For more recipes like this and many more, please visit seafoodfromcanada.com.